Hey, this is Casey. So, have you ever seen that show Hoarders? Yeah, that's me, minus all the dead cats laying around. So instead of catching fire to my storage room and starting over, I'm going to take some of my old items and turn them into new ones. I have these awesome scarves that I got from my great grandmother. They're really old and really cute, but they've always been an awkward length or a poofiness and just didn't work for like headbands or belts, neck scarves, anything like that. But I have found a new purpose for all of these items and it's very quick, very easy. Do it yourself at home. I'm serious, this will take you maybe 30, 60 seconds. So first off, these little belts right here, like I said, I don't like to use them as belts, but I've discovered that if you wrap it around a couple times, you can create a headband. And if you're wearing something with a collar, they also make wonderful little bow tie pieces for your neck. So this wonderful polka dot scarf has this like weird poofiness, but I finally figured out a really quick little trick to turn these scarves into a new belt. So wrap the scarf around your waist. Pretend like you're going to tie a regular bow, but pull one side through all the way. You'll have a little dollop at the bottom there. Spread these little poofs out and you have a new belt. So speaking of things that I will never ever get rid of because I am the most disgustingly sentimental person ever, I have this leather bag here that I just absolutely loved at one point and uh, the strap came off. So I've kept it for like two years <laughs> and I decided that I was going to take this scarf and create a new strap. So I'm gonna show you two ways You can literally do this in seconds. All I did was I took the scarf and I looped it through the little buckles on the sides and tied it. <clears throat> so you wanna do that first, whether you're going to do a temporary fix for the strap or you're going to permanently attach the scarf as new purse strap. So anyways, tie knots in there, <clears throat> fold these little flaps up. And I just took a few pins that I had laying around. I got this awesome box of jewelry from my grandmother and uh, some of these are like 40, 60 years old. You can find little pins like this at the thrift, at the thrift store because hardly anyone wears brooches anymore. So uh, check out your thrift stores, check out clearance sales on jewelries, things like that. So fold this little babe up, take the pin and just slide it through, obviously. And then you have another little accent to kind of add to your purse. I also have a button collection, kind of ridiculous, but it does come in handy for some things. So if you're wanting to make this drop into more of a permanent piece, a whole new bag, I guess you could say, uh, what I did was flip these up one more time and then you can just sew the button wherever you like. Um, I like this idea a lot because you can change it kind of season to season. So like in the winter, I'd probably use this big black button as it gets to be more springy I'd use like a turquoise or a brighter blue button or just something kind of fun that makes the purse pop and look like you gave it its own character, which you did. I know how difficult it is to try to go from season to season and keep up with all of the trends and styles and things uh, and feel pleased with your wardrobe, especially when you're on a budget. And I'm very much on a budget. So I cannot stress how important it is to just get creative, look around your house, look at little things that you find um, and try to imagine what else you could turn them into. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. We'll see you soon.